And what's right with our schools, giving students the tools they need to become financially independent? It's a big priority for Birmingham's mayor and the school superintendent. We sat in for the first financial literacy lessons at Carver High. You know, I have money and I can pay off everything that they have. You have, and a I bad have rental. I have History. the most funds, though. You got a one out of three. I can change. Students at Carver High role play to demonstrate why having good credit matters. They can see how a person can have cash on hand but still have to pay more to borrow or to rent a home because of a poor credit history. The trust that they have to find with so people. So Mr. Bennett's class is getting a different kind of economic lesson. Isaac Cooper is part of Mayor Randall Woodfin's push for financial literacy in Birmingham City Schools. It's our goal to essentially be in all high schools by the end of the school year to ensure that all the seniors have access to this information before they graduate. They talk about predatory lenders, which appear to be easy money, but the fees and high interest rates keep racking up. If Jennifer is a typical payday loan customer, she's going to do this again and again for five months of the year, paying $520 in fees, all for that original $375 loan to pay her rent. The main thing that stood out to me was the payday loans and how they're basically built to put you in a cycle of debt and especially like the people that they target, like like low credit scores, it's basically like a trap for you. Had you ever thought about financial literacy before this class? No. So what did you learn? I learned a lot how to keep up with my budget. Knowing the metrics of, uh, of parents that may use payday loans, knowing the metrics that may be in poverty, this may be the first generation of students that have access to all the resources to be financially independent. That was Isaac Cooper there. There were also representatives there from Regents Bank. The lessons aren't just for students. The plan is to also include parents and people in the community. Cooper says they are also partnering with organizations to give students stock to teach them about investing.